Hello, uh, boys and girls. Uh, it's uh, your time again. It's your time all the time, of course, because uh, we all love you as a church that we just reach out to you. But uh, good morning to you, and I hope that you're all keeping well. Uh, I always like to ask you that, and uh, keeping well and uh, listening to mums and dads and doing all the things that you should be doing. Some questions again. Who likes, I'm going to imagine your answer now, who likes to go to the beach? I'm going to put my hand up. Um, I know at the minute we may not be allowed to go, maybe go to the beach or there's restrictions on us and whatnot, but I'm sure we're looking forward maybe to spending a day or some time on the beach. So hopefully soon that will come. But when you go to the beach, another question, who likes to build a sandcastle? Just imagine your answers back home. I'm sure that you all enjoy building a sandcastle. They're fun to make. Take your bucket and spade with you. And it's always nice to stand back. After you make a sandcastle, it's always nice to stand back and take a look at it and admire the work that you've done. You might even add bits to it later on as well. Whenever we were on a holiday, Ria and I, not that long ago, were on a holiday uh, in Spain. And we were walking on the beach and we seen lots and lots of sandcastles. They were so professionally done and we admired them so much. But anyhow, what eventually happens? What eventually, that's another question. What eventually happens to sandcastles? Easy answers. What happens? Yes, whenever the rain comes or the sea water, whenever the tide comes in, or if it were to rain, what happens? The sand just collapses. It becomes a mushy mess, doesn't it? It's not nice after you build a sandcastle to see all your hard work getting lost like that. Anyhow, I have a story from the Bible today. And it's a story that Jesus told. And again, who is Jesus again? It's God in the flesh. We know the Christmas story. Uh, he became one of us. Uh, and he grew up into a man. And he told stories. And uh, this was a story told by Jesus about two men. Two men who built a house for themselves. Just think of the house you're living in at the minute and how it was built and the foundation that it was built on. And Jesus told this story. One man built his house on the rock. And it wasn't too long after he built his house, what happens? A storm came. Don't, storms happen, don't they? A storm came. The rain and the wind beat against his house. And guess what? His house remained strong. It kept him safe from the storm. The house did not fall because it had its foundation on the rock. I would like to live in a house like that. The other man built his house in the sand. And you know what's likely to happen, don't you? A storm came, the rain and wind came, and what happened? His house fell with a great crash, and he no longer had a house. He was homeless. He was out in the rain, out in the cold, out in bad weather, and he didn't have that place of shelter that he thought he had. Now Jesus said that the man who built his house on the rock was a wise man. Jesus said that the man who built his house on the sand was a foolish man. So there is a moral to the story. And whenever I say a moral, it just simply means there's a meaning to the story. There's always a moral to every story in life. And a moral just simply means there's a meaning. So what did this story mean? So Jesus said that those people who listen to his words, he's here to guide us, to lead us, to keep us safe from the storms of life. And he said that those people who listen to his words are like the wise man who built his house on the rock. And Jesus said that those who do not listen to him, do not listen to his words, is like the foolish man who built his house on the sand. You see, whenever we get older, whenever we grow up, things can get a bit more difficult and there's important decisions that we have to make in our lives. And God wants to be a part of our lives. So it's all about asking him into our lives and being a part of our lives and talking to him in prayer and seeking his words. 
He loves you. He doesn't want you to fall away from his words because your life, if you don't listen to God, your life can crash like the foolish man's house that was built on the sand. And God warns us of danger, not just to you, but to his whole world. He warns us of the danger because he cares for us and he knows what is best for us. So God wants us to listen. Listen to him and as we grow up that we build our life from him, from his words of guidance and that we listen and put into uh, action the things he wants us to do. In his power, he, he will help us to do that. So I hope you're listening. I'm sure you are. You're, you, I've been told here at Bloomfield Methodist, you're all very, very good. And you listen to mums and dads, listen to your family. And here we are in the church as well. This is your church. And it's God's church is speaking to you as well. And I pray that you will hear his words uh, as you grow up as well. And in this situation that you sense his comfort. So, so just before I finish, there's a verse, Matthew 7, 24. And this, these are the words of Jesus. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Again, I think we could say this together. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and puts them into practice is like a wise man who built his house on the rock. Matthew 7, 24. So I'm just going to close this time in prayer. We thank you, God, for your love for us and your world. We thank you for your words that are here to guide us and to keep us safe. Help us to pay attention and to listen to them. And we ask you these things in Jesus' name. Amen. And now your song. I think you're going to enjoy this one. And I've been told that you know this one.